What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeremy J. Fig coming at you with another video on this channel. Today we are doing a little comparison video. We are going to WTF food truck and we're going to compare what's supposed to be two chicken sandwiches with him and VBQ Philly with the chef, Chef Eric, who was also there. And it was supposed to be two chicken sandwich comparison, but since WTF sold out of the chicken sandwich, I decided to do the burger comparison this time. So I'm gonna do the vegan burger against WTF's food. Um, sorry, I'm a little tongue tied. WTF's cheeseburger deluxe. So I'm gonna go pick up this food, and I will see y'all back at my place. What's up, everybody? I'm here. We are back with the awesome food got from WTF Food Truck and VBQ Philly. Shout out to my two guys, Chef Chef Eric from VBQ Philly and Tim McCray from WTF Food Truck. And for those of you who is in the Trenton area. Trenton Ewing area of New Jersey. Um, you have one week to get to WTF food truck before he closes. So y'all better hurry up. If y'all know anything about him, I will post the link to his YouTube channel and to his to his um Instagram and Facebook page. It's gonna be in the description box below. And same with BBQ Philly. But I'm doing a comparison tonight. So what we're doing is comparing what's supposed to be the chicken sandwich, but since I lucked out on WTFs, we're going to do the burgers. So we have the awesome vegan burger here. You can see all this. Well, wait a minute. Let me take it out. Got this awesome burger right here and we're going to compare it to this yes if y'all can see if we can zoom in on this there it is there it is awesome cheeseburger here it also it could it could kind of pass this up i had to order his wings I had to order his wings garlic parm is like one of his best wings that he got next to the general tour. So, I mean, I might go back next week to get another order. I don't know, but we're going to see. But let's stop talking and start this comparison. You already know the fries is awesome. Had to get into these fries. All right, we're gonna start off with the vegan burger. Start off with this. Um, sorry, y'all. Sorry, guys. I don't like pickles. I do not like pickles at all. It just, I, I've been like this ever since I was little. Some people trying to get me to eat pickles, but I just, I just, just don't like it. Man, I know my taste buds probably going to change in the near future, but right now, no pickles. All right. Cheers. Let's get this. The 
texture in this is very, man, let me get another bite of this. This burger is actually not bad at all. The texture in this is like you really can tell that you're eating a, a vegan burger. So like everything is plant based in this. The cheese, the vegan cheese, and the mayo and all that. It really brings out more detection in this vegan burger. Like if I was vegan and this was around, so I get like two of these or three. That burger was good. I give that a 9.5 out of 10 for this one. 9.5 out of 10. Now I would I'm really looking forward to the chicken sandwich, but since I do remember having the chicken sandwich the last time from WTF, um, I did say that um, WTF, that, that chicken sandwich is actually on the rise of being like one of the top chicken sandwiches in better than Popeye's, KFC, Chick-fil-A, and all them chain restaurants with the chicken spots. As I said, that they better be on the lookout because he got one of the best chicken sandwiches ever. So, he got that hands down. <laughs> he definitely got that hands down. But, I still got to taste the um, vegan chicken sandwich just so I can attest to that. <laughs> well, now let's get into this burger. Let's get into this burger here. Not bad. Hmm. Need some. Hmm. I'll be right back. I might get some. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some condiments real quick. Back. I had to get some condiments and put for this burger. Got some mayo chup here from Heinz. Mayo chup. I actually like this. I actually prefer this. Like, I put this on my burgers at home <laughs> every time, but. What we do is, cheers. Huh? No, not bad. Not bad burger. Well, Burger Deluxe, not bad. Guess I'll give this one a... Guess I'll give it a... I can give it a... I give it a 9. I'll give this burger a 9 out of 10. Because, y'all, his foods are good. Maybe if it was the Smash Burger... There's a hint, hint. <laughs> if it was the Smash Burger... I definitely would have definitely would have won but I give this an 8 out of 10 
So, BBQ Philly won this with the burgers, but WTF, you already got it for best chicken sandwich, so <laughs> y'all good. Now, we get into the chicken sandwich. <laughs> Yes, we are getting into this chicken sandwich. Now, don't worry. I already said WTF got the best chicken sandwich, so. So, we good. Boom. Get it there. I love the texture in this sandwich. It's, um, it's the seasoning in this, like the seasoned perfect. Almost like you're eating a um, regular chicken sandwich. Definitely plant based. Chicken sandwich was good. I give that a 9 out of 10. I love that. Yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10. But, WTF, y'all chicken sandwich is actually top. And no cap. I say this, if he have, you ever do, when you do your, if you do your snack, if you do your smash burger again, at the same time, BBQ Philly comes and he does his burger, that's going to be the ultimate test right there. But for now, I have to say, he wins this round for the best burger right now. But you got you got the round for the best chicken sandwich. But we still gotta break the tie with the cheesesteak. That's the other thing we gotta do because last time um I did a cheesesteak comparison and they it, it both was a tie. Let's get to these wings here. We get to these wings right here. The garlic palm wings. I've been feeling for these for a minute. Cheer. See that? He got. One of the best wings ever. Literally, the garlic palm wings, they are hitting. Bam. 
of a mess that would have been that would have happened. <laughs> I want to see a magic trick. All right, see this? See the flat here. You want to see a magic trick? Just like that. Didn't go as planned, but. Try with this one. Just gonna try with this one. Let's see what we got here. Perfect. Doing good. Peep the arms. I work out arms every day. Coming in January, I'm gonna do a fitness. Um, I'm gonna start fitness vlogging. Do the um different my different types of workouts for those who doing who are trying to get into you know their New Year's resolutions and want to get in shape for the New Year and everything. I'm gonna drop some workout tips for y'all and help y'all out and some nutrition tips too. Also, I got some great workouts, not too bit not too much, especially for beginners. Some people um. If you go through my workouts and look at my videos, people be thinking like, oh, now nah, you're going to try and kill us. <laughs> but no way, I'm not going to try and kill you. That's not my intention. Unless you want that extra challenge. Like if you want to start off on expert, you could go ahead. But just know this, if you start off on expert, then, you know, you're asking for it. <laughs> but for beginners or intermediate, all that, just, um... I got some good workouts for y'all, like for, for beginners, like stuff you can do at home, and then you can slowly increase. I mean, it won't be too bad. Trust me, it won't. I mean, I never figured out, realized, you know, how much easy, like, working out at home, then working at the gym. Like, I found out about this workout when I was at the gym, like what, what I was doing, and then I thought to myself, like, hmm, I could do this at home. And then when I took it to my first training session that I did um, two years ago in um, Florida, in Orlando, I did my first um, training class, my uh, workout session in Orlando, Florida. And um, even though it was um, all women there, they actually really enjoyed it. And some, you know, you had some who could do workouts so I had to you know do moderations for those but for everyone who was in um all the other females you know first in the beginning they were all like you trying to kill us oh my gosh but then at the end you know they enjoyed it they thoroughly enjoyed it and don't worry I'm gonna have some good workouts for y'all both men and women and also for the kids too if they want to get into it too if they want to know start off young because you know you got some young athletes out there Let's get back to these wings. Got three more wings left.
Let's see what happens in this one. This is probably the perfect one I could try. I would have done first. Let's see what happens. And right, what do you know? All the wings are down. Whew, everything else is down. Just got these two fries right here and then we done. You know. Gamers are really out there nowadays, you know. I don't know where, where they came from, but you know, scammers are really out there nowadays. And it's just so sad they have to get to the point where people gotta start scamming people through social media in order to get what they want. Like, what, what purpose are you getting out of that? Like, scamming people out of money, like, for what? Like, what purpose are you getting out of it? Like, you ain't getting nothing out of it. Like, Still looking from others, and then later on in life, you're the one who's gonna be struggling. Meanwhile, the person you scam is gonna be living large, and then you gonna be looking like, "Oh my God, why did I scam that person? Oh, why did I do this? Why did I do that? Blah blah blah." Like, you're not gonna make it anywhere in life if you're gonna keep scamming people. Like, you're not gonna make it nowhere. You might, but it ain't gonna last long. Think about that. down. Fries are down. Everything is down. Overall, everything was good as usual. Everything was good. Really enjoyed this. Now to go walk this off and then rest for the night. But I uh, thank all y'all for tuning in to this video. All those who stayed with the flow of the video. Um, for those of you who are in the Trenton and Ewing area, please make your way to WTF Food Truck before next week. Because that's when he closes for the winter. And he will be reopening in the spring of 2021. And also a big shout out to BBQ Philly, Chef Eric. He's going to be back around in 2021 also. So be on the lookout for them. I will post their social media in the description box below. This is WTFs, as you can see. This is all his. 
social media platform, but I will be posting it in the description box below. And I will be posting BBQ Phillies um, information in the description box below. But thank you all for tuning in. Please give this video a like. Like this video. Share this video with your family and your friends. Um, leave a comment if you enjoyed it or give me any um, other suggestions or other um, food reviews or challenges or what else I should do for my next video or um, videos coming in the near future and also follow me on all my social media platforms all that will be listed in the description box below and subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel I really would appreciate it if you all Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really will mean a lot. But thank you all for tuning in. And always remember, do great, be great, feel great. Love y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed night and stay safe.